Okay, so in this video, we're going to actually have a look at our first blueprints. So blueprints are it's a visual scripting system, which is one of the primary reasons why we have started using Unreal because it means you can implement game logic without the nightmarish uh, situation where you put a semicolon in the wrong place and end up uh, sorting through your code for six and a half hours. So um, really, blueprint is genius. Uh, really simple. Um, intuitive, uh, context sensitive, so we'll just move into it. But really, so blueprints are kind of a set of instructions that you give to either an actor, an object, or a container. So um, it's if there's a series of objects uh, that are combined. So, for instance, if you've got a torch with the light, the static mesh, and the flame, which um, is a container we can control what happens with the separate elements of that using a blueprint so a blueprint is kind of the control system for the object uh, or actor or container that um, it is attached to or it effectively is not attached to it is it effectively the core element of it so um, I don't know if that's confused you more but what I'll do is I'll get started uh, so if we look here, what I'm doing here is I've made a blueprints folder. So I'm going to go and access the level blueprint, and this is the level specific blueprint, which means that it's only going to fire these uh, these nodes, which are effectively functions, which is it's it's effectively a visual script. So it's if you think about coding. And you think about the functions and calling certain, making certain elements of your scene do certain things. This is a visual way of doing it. So what I've done here is I've just gone back. I'm just going to show you two ways of doing this. So I need to get, if you look on the right, I'm just going to pause that. So if you look on the right here, we've got um, the door open component of the scene. So this is the world outliner, which is slightly covered up by this. Um, and so... We've got the door open uh, is effectively the cinematic. If you remember, we made a cinematic in the last scene. So what I'm going to do is I need a reference to this. I need to be able to access what the two animations we've created in this door open. So what I've done is there's two ways of doing it, uh, but the, you can access it from right clicking in the menu with the object selected. But what I've done is I've just dragged it over into the level blueprint graph. So event graphs are effectively where you place your nodes. So I'm going to shut up and continue. So always compile uh, whenever you move anything in your graphs. So what we're going to do here is um, we are. So I'm just looking for the box trigger. So I've got the trigger box selected. And what I'm going to do is, um, again, I can just. Um, I'm just going to keep it so that we can see both things at once. No, I'm not. Okay, obviously changed my mind. So we've got the trigger box selected. So you get. Let me just pause it again. So we're getting context sensitive options here. So what um what we want to do is if you look uh, add event for trigger box one. So it's immediately given as context sensitive elements for this trigger box. So we want to uh, add on actor begin overlap on under collision. So whenever something hits the collision box. We're going to create an event, simple as that. Okay, so you know one of the huge benefits of blueprinting is that if you get stuck, you can type into your search box, um, and if you have an idea of what you're looking for, for instance, collision, then it'll bring up these these elements. So also you can just because it's context sensitive, you can effectively just poke on through this list until you find what you're looking for. Um, and this is really kind of the creative part of it, from my perspective, is that you know you. It's, it's quite fun to just try out some of these things. And believe you me, I've never had any fun doing that in code. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> so that's the uh, on actor begin overlap. So what we're going to do now is on actor, um, let's just have a look. <clears throat> so we're adding an event again. It's to do with collision. Uh, it's not that one, so that's call function. We don't want that. We want add event uh, on actor end overlap. So compile that. So that means as soon as the, the character or what the actor leaves the trigger box. 
So these are very common terms in game development. Um, on trigger enter, on trigger end overlap, on trigger enter overlap. Um, I don't think that's on trigger enter overlap, on trigger begin overlap. So there's lots of different terminology for it, but it's effectively when an object enters the trigger box. So what this is relatively new. Um, I haven't used this before, so it's um, I'm just going to play a sequence. So the target is the sequence player, which is contained within the door open object or component. And so I want that to reverse as well when we leave the um, when we leave the trigger. So all that's doing is it's just looking in the door open. Um, component and finding the animations and playing them and so we need to connect the firing pins to make it all function those white ones are what we need it to function so if we try now just have a there we are you see so it's really as simple as that you shouldn't actually be able to get into that area obviously because if this was a proper game you could get trapped in there hence you'd be in trouble okay so let's just have one last look so really um you know what's happening is that we, it's the important part is we're just accessing the door open element and finding the sequence the animations off that element and then playing them forward and playing them reverse so you know it's really straightforward um that would probably take me about three months in code <clears throat> okay so let's just have one last look at see if it all functions properly let's go Oh, hang on. Who's this? Coming out of the doorway. He's a dodgy looking geezer. Ah, uh, and he's also sliding about. And he's got a hunched back. So, you'll notice he's been dragged back by some unknown force. That's because um, the animation is simply reversing. Balls just bounce off him. Yeah, back into his hall for the evening. Okay, so I just want to quickly show you that what basically what I'm doing there is all I've done is I've just added a new Andy Zombie Walk. Um, so it's, it's just basically running an animation again. There's me coming out. Uh, it's just running an animation again uh, as part of the door open cinematic. Okay, so that's all good. Thanks. Bye bye. So yeah.